Well, let's go and talk to Mr. I am the law. More of the, uh... Ship is now right, let's go and fill these people in. Let's see where business is at. United Colony System Defense at your service. <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> Alright. Howdy. Alright. Do we have any. Uh, uh, come back under here. The commander appreciates. Good. The more you find. Uh, this recording about Com Spike shows that the UC's got some internal issues going on. Cost overruns, siphoning project funds. How deep does this well go? Our forensic accounting team is going to have their hands full. I'll send this to Master. Anything else? That's all I have right now. So okay. clearly Fine. the painting is not. Oh, I took him out of the room. We'll be here if you need us. You have permission to speak freely. Oh wow! Well, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> I think you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh. Yeah. Right, we need to look at this tech business. Right, uh, ship cargo holds have 10% uh, 10 more. Your ship has now 10 Ah, uh, okay, ship. Your ship's top speed is increased by 10%. Your weapon systems. Alright, uh. Yeah, let's ever add a bit more to that, though. I'm guessing I need to have either what is this, with a car culture on Earth centuries ago. There are those who pride themselves on the ability to modify their own spaceships. That's what I want. So I need to put all my next points into that. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Oh, well, infiltration said when we were getting caught was quite tricky. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a CISDEF operative. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. And it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? He believes he's going to fit in neon seas. A conduction grid? That's brilliant, but is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock Borzian field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. If that's the case, inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. I'll see what I can do. You've certainly gone above and beyond the Call of Duty. All right. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. A lot of us had our doubts about you. But you're really making progress with this operation. All right, time to travel to Neon City. Switching out to the standard. Free start collect space. All while we scan your ship. Our scan 
detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. Oh, All crap. illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. There's contraband. I've uh, paid stolen items. Pay 820 credits, stolen items confiscated, I'll pay the fine. Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. Pretty hell. So that was contraband that I took <laughs> for the paintings. So they weren't going to take that. Oh, gouged. Sanitation mini bot. Right, well, guessing I've paid my neon security. Guess I've paid. Me, I have <laughs> well, got me on the planet quicker, I guess. Security's got its eyes on Saburo Oka Digbo. Guy's trouble for the status quo. Okay, so this to me will be is their version of Area 18 and maybe a little bit of Hurston, I guess, <laughs> like in their Star Citizen. Right, where are we going? Sleep crates for rent. Madame Asava. credit for every time I heard that line I wouldn't be stuck working in this place so I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent well let me save both of us some time turn around fly back to the key and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around we'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously I'm getting really tired of being called a rook let's cut the grab and get to work are you serious you're just gonna completely blow me off like that. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in the right direction, and watch us go. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. If you want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. 
Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. I'll be on my way. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdine and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdine's got their place locked down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. There's gonna be a catch. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. <laughs> anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Just grab that tech and plant the virus. Should be a cinch. The crazy stuff I get myself involved in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. We gotta look out for each other, right? Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns, but... Now that they're on the ropes, kind of wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all? Have a heart. Hey, thanks. Look, I mean you. Go back to the plaza. Ain't nothing but shit and misery over here. Locate evidence to extort. Yeah, we'll take the evidence. So go out. Have your fun. If this gives me the upper hand, then brilliant. important I'm really busy right now let me save you some time if you're here for a job we're not hiring if you're here about the conduction grid tour we shut it down a year ago good if you were you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year what a waste look I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Sounds like you need a new person in charge. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, 
The man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Uh, do you suspect she's oh. illegal? Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. I promise. Just, just bring that up. No, I can't. Sorry. Crap. I don't think so. Well. Maybe. I mean, it might be okay. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Ooh. Sure, sure, no problem. It was great speaking with you. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Now, is he gonna go in there for us, or what was he doing? Genodyne Industries welcomes you to our corporate office. Genodyne was founded in 22. Working from her facility in... That was Genodyne's first... As long as it does. Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed. And spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Something rotten is going on in this company. And one day, I hope to find out what it is. Uh, she's my boss. She's fine, I guess. Look, she might be a bit tough on all of us, but being responsible for Neon's power grid is a very str... I've only been working here... Well, the big boss is us. We're done talking about that. Hope to see you again soon. If you want to talk, you'll have to schedule an appointment. Hold her right there. You're under arrest. Searching a fine, upstanding citizen like you would be a waste of time. Still got to go to the station, though. I believe it just. Oh. Should have found a way of. Uh... Right. Let's kind of look at the uh, evidence we've got. <clears throat> Why am I naked?
Uh, where is the air notes? Alright, Ben. What was so important I had to come to the office in the middle of the night? It's the numbers, Ayumi. I don't like what I'm seeing. If you'd stop interfering with my company, the numbers would be better. Your company? That's funny. I thought it belonged to Mr. Harada. Give me a break. We both know you set up that identity so we could both reap the profits off the books. If Jenardine was showing a profit, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How the hell am I supposed to make a profit when all I have is your brother, the idiot, and my chief technician? I'd choose your next words very carefully, Miss Komiko. Raise the utility costs to your clients, cut some staff, I don't care how you do it. I want Jenardine's profit soaring by the end of the month. And if I ever hear you talking about Brayson like that again, well, I'm sure you can imagine the consequences. Wow. Well, we got the evidence, that's the main thing. You're out there a lot, right? Space. yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down no, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I... I suppose that would be okay. Let's face it, some people are just... Sorry about all of the threats. How about I set you up with free access to our members' lounge to make up for everything? Yeah, yeah, you do that. Yumi should already be there. Just try not to make her angry. Don't forget to ask you to see our special menu. You good? Those chimeras really pack a punch. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room, Angie, to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. If you had to work with Brayson Bayou, the man is still a totally inco- The worst part of it is that he's Administrator Bayou's brother. So I can't fire him. I can't reassign him. I can't even yell at him. It's like having a cut on your body. Remember, we never talked. Got it? <clears throat> Wait, what? Don't know what you're on about. To the underbelly. Oh, 
Oh. Wow. Okay, and so it's like a water planet, maybe? It's full of oceans. Deliveries only. vent around here Oh god, no! Too late now. Didn't want to kill anybody, but that's just gone tits up. Oh, wait, well, I lost all the. I feel like I lost all my weapons. I know I put some stuff away, but. Well, I might as well put. Put a cut about there. You can go on there. You can go down there. You've got the one casualty so far. This would not look good on the uh, record. Right. 
We're gonna have problems. We didn't have my stealthy suit on, really, was it? Current power cord, uh, green, 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 yellow, orange. The encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. Oh, uh, there has to be a cat. Give it some first, and I'll consider. No, no catch. I, I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher, it, it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Yeah. That would be nice. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch. That's not like I should be surprised. I mean, he's 11 years older than us. Oh, okay, Thanks well, again for the talk. You've been in his shadow. Thank you, my friend. I'll leave you too. Oh, I think we've done it. Turret Trade Tower Lobby.
crazy bit of place. Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. I've no clue what you're talking about. If you know why I'm here, then you know what the source is. All to too stake. well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Got to deal with the fleet and will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. Yes. I suppose I have become somewhat of a legend in the Free Star Collective. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Ooh. Uh, do I put his brother into it, or...? Grayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Grayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. <laughs> My God, you got an attitude. Ah. Right, yeah, see, I see they've got all those kind of things on there. The Certain terminals like that are in certain places. Word is B Borealis. You know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around now, there. She the wants. time to enhance your life. Oh, was it out the mobile where it was a hotel, was it? Don't know where the hell I'm going, I'm lost. Now oh, this thing this this job didn't go as like clean as I was. I was hoping. about the whole Benjamin Bay you thing at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. Uh, it's, uh... So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. Well, I'm glad someone's happy. 
Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jenardyne is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. Uh, way. That's pretty cool of you to offer, but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Yeah. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much uh, are you willing to part with? Well, it's a bit less than I was hoping for, but thanks all the same. At least you gave a crap enough to cut me in at all. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Like, if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Tell Neva she still owes me a drink for our poker game. <laughs> All right, it's a blue. Oh, yeah, anyway. like right, let's go. Let's get back to back to where we're going. That side's a bad place. For you. Spaceport terminal. Oh. Oh, this is. That's a big old ocean down there. Alright, well, it's time to get back to the uh, key again. <laughs> right, now we need to. We've got. Oh, it's fine, I'm not over mass. It's good. Right, that's it, of course. Oh, yeah, we're going to thing now. Right, jump. Let's go back and see the bath. And you don't even scratch the paint. Hopefully, get to see where this is all going to turn out and go. Oh, here we go. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, it's bad. Re now get your ass to the look. Are you looking to start something? I have a store. What's going on here then? Are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? 
No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdev is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comm spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump out the Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Sounds simple Nothing enough. Around here is simple. Del's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. You can count me. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Wow. Come back with Crix's legacy. Or don't come back at all. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so should be an easy install. Ah, Jesus. Sure, sure. Let me punch that up, and we can have at it. All right, so where do we, where are we putting these uh, modules and how do we do this? I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries haven't... The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and... All right, okay, so... The comm spike traces... That file you lifted, all you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike... Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme vol... The version for your ship can... Instead, it just scatters the... E As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM... Right, okay. So, mind helping me Not with the ship? problem. Dump? Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. I'd love to take your money. Let me see what the ship can do. All right, let's see what you need. Well, I, don't, I just don't understand it. 